Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad. This is my channel, Animate Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News, there have been several things that have popped up on Fascinations or Metal Earth website over this past week, even one popping up sometime during the night last night. They're all models that have been uh, shown from the Toy Fair. They're actually coming to the Coming Soon page. Nothing has moved from Coming Soon to what's new, but several more things have been added to the Coming Soon page. To start with, we have the ICX 142, which is a Iconics version of the P51D, but it's not the Sweet Arlene. It's apparently the Duchess Arlene, or at least that's what the paint job on the side says. This is a Tuskegee Airman 51D Mustang. Again, ICX 142, two sheets listed as challenging with a finish size of 6.2. Uh, inches long, 7.6 inches wide, and 3.1 inches tall. It looks to be very much the same build and design as the Sweet Arlene, though there are some minor differences. Uh, the one thing that sticks out most is those bombing things under the wings aren't there. The paint job is a little bit different. And it does... It, it's not shown with a stand, whether or not it comes with a stand, or they just chose to show pictures without, I don't know for sure. And whether or not the landing gears are posable is, is being up or down, probably. I don't see why not, but I don't, don't really know. There's only the four pictures showing of it so far. So the Sweet Arlene's width, the, the width of the wings is only 5.5 inches. The Tuskegee Airman P51D, the iconic version's width, would be 7.6 so it is a bigger model roughly two inches wider a little bit bigger of a model next up we have the Kawasaki GPZ 900 R this one was also previewed at the Toy Fair I wasn't sure whether or not this one was going to come out because I hadn't heard anything about that about it other than what was at the Toy Fair it's the ICX 145 so another Iconics model Listed as having two sheets, listed as being challenging, with a finish size of four four and a half by four and a half long by one and a half wide by two point four inches high. And then for Marvel fans, we have the Infinity Gauntlet, which is uh, listed as an, a Metal Earth model MMS three two eight. Two sheets, moderate build, with a finish size of one point seven inches long. 1.6 inches wide and 4.3 inches in height. I remember seeing a picture of it and it looked like it was a pretty big, pretty tall height. Almost as tall as like Iron Man or something. So I'm really kind of surprised it's only two sheets for that model. Now I believe Iron Man is four and three quarters inches high and the Infinity Gauntlet is 4.3 inches high. So it's almost According to the measurements, almost as tall as Iron Man, which that's pretty big for a glove. I mean, it's nice that it's that size. I imagine doing the little uh, Infinity Stone pieces is going to be interesting. But it's only listed as a moderate build, so hopefully not too difficult. I imagine there's be some stretching and shaping of things. Moving on from that, a surprise this morning was the Stormtrooper. Of course, we knew the Stormtrooper was coming, according to previews from the Toy Fair, but it is now showing up. There are four pictures of it from the front and sides and back and whatnot. It is the ICX 134. It's listed as 2.5 sheets and listed as challenging, though we don't have a finished size on that. But I would imagine it's going to be about the same size as Boba Fett, which is a little over 7 inches tall. So I would imagine that the Stormtrooper is going to be roughly 7 inches, 7.2 Somewhere around there. We also do have some new pictures of the Deadpool model, though no other new information. A 360 view, no, no other new information, but we do have an actual four set of pictures like everything else for the Deadpool model in addition to the other models being added to coming soon. And all of those have shown up over the past few days. So one thing we're missing that I can think of, the one big one I'm sure a lot of people are interested in, is we haven't seen Darth Vader yet, but I do remember hearing that the Darth Vader that they showed at the Toy Fair wasn't finished. They were still trying to get the proportions of the face and helmet correct. And they tried a couple of different things. So that one may take a little longer. And who knows when they'll actually come to market. But 
it's encouraging that these things are showing up and details of them are starting to show up and we will hopefully have them before too much longer something fun to keep us busy those of us who are locked away right now looking on Peace school site nothing has changed from last week and we don't even we didn't even get a estimated date of when the new models were going to come out the ones i talked about last week the uh, shop models uh, unless that's changed since me starting to record this because I record this fairly early in the morning or at least I start recording fairly early on Friday mornings. I did look around on Crazy Toys and AliExpress and found a few MU models that were new to me. The main one that showed up is the MU it's listed as MU Lunar Died Dawn and it kind of looks like maybe a blue fairy uh, sedan or carriage. I talked about a MU Fairy sedan back on the 13th of March. It's reddish in color, and I'm guessing this is a follow-up. I ended up actually going to the MU Models website, which I don't usually do because it's not usually kept up to date, but they did have these new models. They did have the, the Fairy Flower sedan and this new Lunar Dyed Dawn. Somewhere in there I've seen the word Fairy, but not in the title. I can't even remember where I saw Fairy, so I'm guessing it's same sort of thing, different color scheme. It's listed as a fairy sedan or the Lunar Dyed Dawn, which I'm assuming is like a fairy sedan. Listed as brass and stainless steel, 8 by 10.5 by 8 centimeters, or 3.2 by 4.13 by 3.2 inches. Three sheets, three 11 by 19 centimeter sheets, multicolored, 99 pieces, 4 out of 10 stars, and around 18, 19 US dollars on several different AliExpress stores. I found it, I found it on crazytoys.co.uk. I think I found it on their AliExpress store. I also found it in a few other stores like Magical Models and New York Toy Store on AliExpress. I'll list, I'll have those in the, the links in the description down below. And like I said, I did go to the MU website, MU Models, I think it is.com. Or yeah, emumodel.com. And I did see this fairy sedan, though. There wasn't really any more information that I could translate on there. I did, however, see what looks like another set of models that are coming soon. Or coming up. I have no idea when. Because, again, I could only translate so much on the website. They have what they're I'm calling a beach series. And it looks like there's four different buildings involved. It took me couple of hours to kind of piece it all together looks like there is a they're all listed under Shanghai culture culture one there's a department store building and it's listed as a length a finished length of 9.5 millimeters excuse me listed listed as a finished size of 9.5 centimeters by 6.3 centimeters by 10 no yes 10 centimeters. I'm having to translate in my head because they all had it in millimeters and I was trying to translate into centimeters since that's mostly what we use for mostly what I talk about when it comes to uh, 3D metal models outside of the US. So again, length of 9.5 by 6.3 by 10 centimeters listed as two 19 by 11 centimeter sheets. I believe it's saying it's a stainless steel 92 pieces and listed as three stars. I'm not sure, I can't remember how many stars MU normally goes by. Actually, I think they go by 10 stars, so a 3 out of 10 stars. They didn't actually show all 10 stars on their website, just 3. All of these three building, four buildings are listed as 3 stars. We also have the Tea House with a finished size of 7.5 by 6.3 by 5 centimeters. 3 sheets, 3 19 by 11 centimeter sheets, 75 pieces also three stars. We have a jewelry store which is 8.7 by 6.3 by 6 centimeters. Three sheets, 80 pieces, also three stars. And the ballroom as it translates 6.2 by 6.3 by 6.5 centimeters listed as three sheets and 55 pieces. Again three stars. They are interesting looking buildings and I'm guessing it's it says beachfront or beach series so don't know much of anything about Chinese culture but I you know we were seeing a lot of different Chinese architecture and buildings and whatnot and shops and 
This is just kind of a trending thing that seems to be happening over there. They're very neat looking, very interesting. Uh, if you're into architectural stuff, that might be interesting to you. Now, I'll point out that this is showing up on MU's site, which is kind of odd, really, that they preview anything, and I haven't found it in any stores so far. But, of course, when I do, I will talk about it on the next Friday after it shows up. Now, last week, if you haven't been following the past couple of 3D Metal Models news videos, I've been doing little giveaways in each video. Last week, I offered up some model, spare models that I have in my collection. Over the years, I've kind of gathered up a few extra models that I haven't built, models that I've already built, and I just didn't open the other ones. They're unopened models, and I've talked a few times about doing a giveaway, and I just haven't until now, so... Now's a pretty good time with a lot of people, not just in the U.S., but in other countries, being stuck at home for quarantine to get to flatten the curve, as they say, of the COVID-19 pandemic. I've been doing little giveaways to give people in the community something to build while they're stuck at home, assuming they're stuck at home, and even if they're not. I'm not saying that only people who are stuck at home can enter, but anyway... Last week, I had four Star Wars models to give away, as well as, I think it was eight different other ones, and the ideas, I'm not going to give all of it away in one, I want to spread the love, so to speak. So I offered up to everyone to pick two of the four Star Wars models and one of the other eight, because I have several more giveaways coming up, and I do a random drawing and give that person their three picks of models that they chose. So using Excel random numbers and organizing by random. I have a winner this week. The winner, congratulations to Lawrence Goodnight for winning their pick. They have chosen the Slave One, the ATST, and Marvin the Martian. So I will package these up and get them sent off. If not today or tomorrow, next Monday, just because I don't. The mail here will be running soon. I'm avoiding going out in public, if at all possible. So, fortunately, my postman has been pretty good about picking up any packages that I leave out. Although the weekend is, who knows, who's going to be delivering. So, it may take me two or three days to get it out, just for my own safety of just not running out in the public to drop it off. I'm going to have to get this package. And I'm not, I'm not going to get it out in today's mail, because they're probably delivered the mail already. Anyway... Moving on, I split the Star Wars up into two giveaways. There are still two Star Wars models left, so we're going to do another giveaway. And this time, you're going to get either, well not either, but you're going to get the Resistance Ski Speeder and the First Order Snow Speeder. I'm giving both of those away, and then I still have seven anonymous models to choose from. You'll get to pick one of these we have the p51 mustang we have the enterprise d from star trek we have twilight sparkle for anybody that's interested in that we still have one legends model of porky pig to give away we have megatron and then we have tritosaurus rex and one more cessna 182 float plane you're going to be able to pick one of those models because I still have more giveaways. There's going to be another one next weekend as well. Here's, here's the rules. The dirty of it. Here's the rules. It's open to any address as long as I'm legally able to ship there. So I'm not limited to just U.S. addresses. I'm open up to other countries as long as I'm able to ship. I don't know all the rules. If I run into a problem, I'm sorry. I might have to pick another winner if you think there's some reason I'm not going to be able to ship to your country. I mean, I don't know. I don't have this so much. I've, I know I can ship to Canada and the UK, and there's certainly a lot of places. Anyway, I don't know the rules. If I can, if I can ship it there, I will. You will need to follow a link down below in the description. Once again, Code Wookie of Metal Earth Builder is going to help me out with this. Very much similar to the last time. I want to follow his post down at the down in his in his post will be the entry form again I will need a name that I can announce on the channel to let you know you've won I'll need an email address to contact you in case there's any kind of problem to verify your mailing address because I would rather verify it than ship it off 
to a mistake in nowhere. Uh, I will, of course, need your shipping address. You will need to answer one question to show that you've watched this video because I am, you know, I don't want just random people going over there entering and getting models. I want it to be people that are in the hobby. You will get one of those two Star Wars models that I mentioned. You will get to pick one of these seven other models that will be listed there. Code Rookie should have them listed so you can choose from them. And one more thing, please do not put your address in the comments down below. We've had that happen a couple of times. That's just not, not how you enter, and it's not a safe thing to put your public information in the comments on YouTube. That's just not a safe thing to do. The deadline to enter this giveaway will be April 15th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You have until then to get your name in the drawing. If I'm not mistaken, Code Wookie will have it the post programmed to disappear. So you have until that point to enter. And then, of course, next Friday, I will put everything in a spreadsheet, assign everyone a random number, and organize. Lowest number is the winner. Interesting tidbit about this model right here. If you haven't already seen Star Wars The Force Awakens, I know this is a little bit older of a model. I remember when they were teasing the four models that were to come. This was obviously one of them, the First Order snow speeder when the movie came out we all saw the movie no one actually saw this model and what appears to have happened and I, I don't know all any of really the details behind it but i remember there being not just metal earth teasing the snow speeder but other toy companies as well like lego teasing a first order snow speeder buildable model there were other toys coming out or being previewed that this was coming and I can only imagine that as they're making the movie they're dealing with toy companies and deciding which toys are going to be built and getting that, those specifications out and that information out to the toy companies so they can work on their prototypes and get it approved and build up start building the models and have them ready for when things when the when the market when the toys start going on sale they need some time to get all of that ready and I, I'm assuming that the snow speeder was one of those toys that was chosen one of the things that was chosen to become a toy and all the toy companies got geared up to make and sell that model Metal Earth obviously included but then when it come time to edit the movie because they obviously make these decisions before the movie is completely finished and ready to put out but when it come time to edit the movie they apparently cut the scene involving the snow speeder, the first order snow speeder, out of the movie ended up on the cutting room floor. So, interestingly enough, that makes the first order snow speeder Metal Earth model the one Star Wars Metal Earth model to not actually be seen on screen. And I'm sure that has to some degree affected its popularity because a lot of people have gone, I've seen the movie, what is this? Unless you own the Blu-ray or DVD, which I do, and have seen the deleted scenes, you don't know where this fits in. It's a little, um, I think it's a little escape scene after they've, I have to remember, go watch it again because I've seen the, the scene one time. But there, there's a little bit of a chase scene that involves them being on the speeder and being chased by another one of these speeders. Anyway, it's just kind of interesting. That makes it the one Star Wars model that never actually appeared on screen. Thought I would throw that in there. I'm going to leave it at that. Not, again, not really asking any topics or questions this week because I'm just doing contests or giveaways every week. Give away a couple of Star Wars models. I will be and one other model. There are two or three more giveaways lined up over the next few weeks. So I will see you next Friday with an announcement of who is going to, who has been randomly chosen to win these models. You have until just before midnight next Wednesday to enter. There is information in the description down below and a link to MetalEarthBuilder.com to the specific post. Forgive the noises. Everybody's home because school has been canceled because, well, not canceled. They're still doing school online, but no one's going to school right now because of the stay-at-home situation. But I'll see you next week. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for continuing to support this channel and make so many of these builds possible. 
I'll see you in the next few days with uh, the last couple of videos on the MU Megatron that I'm still working on. It's been a long build separated out into several parts, but it's coming to an end and hopefully back to some other shorter Metal Earth models that I've had waiting to build. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep on keeping on.